everyone and welcome back to our Kung Fu class. So today we're going to be carrying on learning our square basic and if you remember last week I taught you the first part of the square basic form which is a basic Mabu Gumbu punch. So today we're not going to be learning anything new but we're going to be developing this movement and we're going to be practicing. So you can think of this session as more of a practice session and let's, uh, let's start by doing a very simple warm up warming up our joints. So wrist and ankle. So I hope you've been able to practice this week and uh, temperatures dropped a little bit here in the UK but um, we need to make sure you really warm up before you start these classes. So maybe you can do a small run or some push-ups and some uh, sit-ups, that'd be good. Okay so stretch up Okay, and then stretch down to the floor Okay, and over to the side, and the other side, and just warm up your hips, and change. Okay, good, and now your knees, just circle your knees around. Okay, and change. Okay, and then bend down to the floor, and then push your knees backwards. And then down again, and backwards, and one more time, and backwards. Okay, so just swing your arms forward. Okay, and backwards. Okay, one forward, one back. Okay, and change. Okay, very good. Let's do some stretches because we're doing a lot of gumbu and a lot of mabu in this, uh, in this uh, square basic. So gumbu position, so high bridge starts. So just rock your hips backwards and forwards in this position. Try to keep your back legs straight. Okay, and now change to your side. Okay. Very good. And now you're just going to take a marbu position. So you're going to put your feet facing forward and bend your knees down. And then just push out on your knees just to try and open up your hips a little bit. Okay, and then straighten your legs up, push your knees backwards. And then squat down again and push your knees out with your elbows. Try and get your hip a little bit lower down. Okay, straighten your legs again. Hands on your feet. Just stretch out your lower back, okay, and then go down again. Keep your hands on your feet and just see if you can get your hip all the way down to the floor or as low as you can go. Okay, and then stretch up. In this position, you're going to sink down into a low bridge stance, so a pubu. Yeah, so you're going to sink all the way down like this. Okay, try to put your hands on both of your feet if you can. Okay, good, and then change to the other side. Later on in these square basics, you're gonna to have to do some back sweeping. So you need to really see if you can stretch your hip out so you can make sure you can do this pubu properly. So that all the, all the square basics, they get a little, little bit more complicated as we go along, okay? So relax your leg. So just remembering your hand position, in the next square basic, you're gonna to have to change your hand positioning. But just for this one, just to remind you, so your hands are here on your waist, clenched fist at your waist, and then you're gonna punch forward in a Hong Chun Chuan. Then you're gonna turn over, and then you're gonna punch the other fist out. Yeah, so we're just gonna do a couple of sets of these, just so you understand, and just to remind you of your hand positioning, okay? So from here, on your waist, you're gonna start with your left hand, and you're gonna punch forward, yeah? Try to use your hip, to generate power through to your end of your fist. Okay, ready? We're gonna do 10 sets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was easy, right? Very easy. We're gonna make it a little bit more harder for you. So what I want you to do is, is at home, if you've got any weights, you can put the weights on your arms. 
Yeah, so this is gonna help you. This is a very traditional method to help you to strengthen your arms. And in a minute, we're gonna incorporate it into our movement. So what I want you to do is get some weights and tie them onto your arms, you know, the ankle weights, you can put them on your hands like this. Or you can hold, actually hold weights, but it's easier if you put something on your arms. Now, in, in the temple, they have these rings, yeah? They're metal rings, um, and you can buy them, you can buy them online. And you can also use those to put on your arms as well. And depending on how much weight you want to put on, depending how many rings you put on. I've got a few here, so I'm going to put these ones on. I'm going to show you what they look like first. So they kind of look like this. Yeah, you've probably seen them. You know, quite a traditional method just to help you to strengthen, strengthen your arms. So you can use, um, you can just use one. So you can start with just using one. And you do, all you do is you pop them over your wrist. So normally you would do it on, try not to do it over um, clothes, yeah? Try to put, put, actually put them onto your, to your wrist like this, yeah? So you're gonna start at your waist and you're gonna punch forward, like punch, and punch, and punch, and punch, yeah? Okay? So I'm gonna put a few more on. Yeah, I'm gonna put a few more on. But you can put on um, as many as you can get onto your arm. You know, if you can put them all the way up to here, maybe you can put them like this. You, know, you can do like this and put them on and then punch. This would be really good. Yeah, so from here, a one, two, three, four. I've got eight. Eight on here, so you can hit, punch, and then back, and then and then back and punch. Yeah, if you can hold your arm out like this, that would be absolutely brilliant. You can have eight on each side. I'm just gonna put four on for now. Yeah, just put four on. Okay, just to show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our marble position just so we're strengthening our legs at the same time. Okay, and then we're gonna punch out. We're gonna go one, hold your arm out straight. Okay, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then you can bring your hands up, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, good. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. We're gonna try it one more time. So if you have got something, if you don't have a ring like this, you can also put something like uh, leg weights, like a couple of leg weights on your arms. Sometimes I improvise and you can get these really big chains. You can buy them from B&Q, you know, and you can wrap these around your arms. They're quite heavy as well if these ones are not heavy enough, okay? Okay, so let's try again. We're gonna sink down in our Marbu position. So Marbu, and then we're gonna punch forward again. Okay, ready? We're gonna do 10 sets together. Okay, ready? And one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we're just gonna put these to one side for a minute. Um, and then we're going to use these. We're going to use them again in a second, yeah, with our training. So just make sure when you've used something heavy, you can just rub your arms and just make sure when you use the rings, if you use power, then actually you, you might bruise some of your wrist or you might pinch the skin, but don't worry too much about that. Just if it's too much, then just use less, okay? So start off with a small one and then increase the the power and increase the weight as you go along, okay? So let's just remember our square basic routine. So we were starting from here, and we were mabu, yeah, yeah, and straight into gumbu, punch. And then from here, I just want to show you something quickly before we actually practice it again together. So from here, you need to jinj out and then hook your leg behind the back of your knee, yeah? This is called a cold weight, yeah? So cold means like a, a hook. So you're hooking the back of your uh, leg, back of your foot, behind your knee. Yeah? So from this gumbi position, let's just practice this a couple of times. So from here, you're going to stamp ma bu. Let's do that. Let's do that movement again, just so we technically get it correct. So from here, gumbu, low gumbu, make sure this is like a 90 degree 
and this back leg is straight. And then from here, stamp, hook, mabu. Okay, and again. So really make sure that when you stamp, you, you really want to stamp your foot into the ground. Try not to just do it like lightly, like jumping onto your foot. You really want to put the flat of your foot really down onto the floor. Yeah, so from here, you're going to stamp, hook, and then marbu. Okay, one more time. We do it again, just this movement. Okay, from here. So stamp, hook, marbu. And then obviously from here you change to gumbu. Then you're gonna stamp. Remember you're going away from yourself. So from here, you're gonna stamp, hook, mabu, gumbu. Stamp, hook, mabu, gumbu. And then you're doing, completing the next side of your square. Stamp, mabu, gumbu. Stamp, koltwe, mabu, gumbu. Then, stamp, hold sway, mabu, gumbu, and the last one. Okay, good, relax your legs, feel your energy back. So usually when we practice these square basics, you go from one square basic into the next one. And by the time you get to eight, you're pretty uh, exhausted. <laughs> yeah, so it's really, really good for your stamina. It's really good for all, uh, learning all different coordination. It's really great for your um, strength and your power, especially if you're using weights and things like that. Okay, so let's just do one set all the way around. Okay, let's do it together. And then we'll add the weight on and we'll see if we can do this movement as well. Okay, ready? Go from here. So first square basic one. Stop, breathe in and out. Okay, good. Maybe that was a, a little bit, maybe that's a little bit too fast. <laughs> yes? Okay, well let's practice again. Let's try and do it a little bit slower. Let's try and get our stances a little bit lower and see if we can get more power into our movement. Okay, so let's try again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, more power, seven, eight, and stop, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay. Very good guys, excellent. So all you need to do is you just need to keep practicing this form over and over again. And it's great because you can practice it in a very small space. So during lockdown, maybe you've been confined to just one room, but don't worry, Shaolin Kung Fu, you can practice anywhere. You don't need much space at all. You can just do it in a tiny, tiny space, round and around in a circle. And by the time you get out of lockdown, you're gonna be like, beast. <laughs> okay, great. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to add the rings on. So as I said, this is a very traditional method. Um, if at the beginning it's hurting your arms, because sometimes it can hurt your arms when you're doing it, it's really good to feel, obviously, for your traditional, for your strength conditioning as well at the same time. But you can put it over clothes, but then eventually you'll probably be better if you do it onto your skin, because it's going to help to condition you at the same time. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's try with the ring. Okay, so from here. Okay, so let's go through uh, just step by step and we'll do it slowly to begin with. Okay, ready? And you bake. So one. Okay, 
Okay, and stop, breathe in and out. Okay, good. So I drop one. Oh no. <laughs> when you're using a power with the rings, sometimes when you use like, uh, like this, if you don't tense your fist at the end, the one can come off. So this is like, also as well, trying to train your um, control. If you just throw out all your power and you don't bend your elbow, bad mistake. Don't bend your elbow, they will, they will all fly off. And you don't want that to happen, yeah? You wanna keep them on your arm, yeah? Okay, let's try again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? In the beginning again. Okay, so, you bet? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and stop, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. So this is a very traditional way that you can practice. Obviously, um, yeah, the more you use on your arm, the heavier it's going to get. You know, so from here, you know, so from here, you're going to go punch. Punch. That's going to get much heavier. Yeah. But, but yes, yeah, so you can keep just training. You know, with one arm. If you don't have, you don't have a lot, you know, you don't have loads of them, then you just obviously at the end just make sure you breathe in and then out. Yeah? So it can be done, the more you can put them up, all the way up to your elbow if you want to, if you can hold. And there's another great method you can do just to help train your forearm strength, your arm strength, is just sit in a mabu and then hold your arms out in this position as well. This is a really great really great way to practice. Okay, and these are very easy to find online. I think you can get them on our website as well. You can buy these on the website. So yeah, and they're great, great training method. Okay, good. So that is just a very simple practice today. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed the session. Just showed you a little bit how traditionally to, to use the rings, um, incorporate them into your practice. It's a little bit more of a traditional training. Um, okay, let's finish off. <coughs> So, just relax your arms and your arms forward again. Okay, and just like this. So you're gonna raise your arms up, raise your arms up, and then breathe out. As you breathe out, just relax your arms at the shoulder, uh, at the shoulder joint and your wrists and everything. Just relax your arms down. Okay, so you're gonna breathe in and out. In. So as you breathe in, bring your arms up, breathe out. Really just relax your arms, your shoulders, and wrists and everything down. Okay, so breathe in, out, in, out. Okay, not finished yet. Five push-ups, okay? This one you can practice on your fist, yeah? Five times, go down and up, that's one, two, three, Four, five, stand up. Okay, relax your arms again. So five times, okay, ready, breathe in, out. So if you were watching the class before, you saw Shifu Shi Amin uh, practicing this called Shui Bi Gong, which is just kind of relaxing the joints. It's a really great Qigong to do as well. You can just, Try to get the blood and the chi moving in your body, yeah? And also just to open up the joints. Five more push-ups. This time you're gonna try like this way, yeah? Our standard instructor was showing us that this, uh, this week, so it's a very good one. So you go down and then up. So you're turning your fist this way around. Yeah, so rather than this, which is obviously if you're Li Chun Chuan, this you wanna do Hong Chun Chuan. So this way around, okay? So five steps like this. Okay, ready? Okay, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, and up. Okay, five more times, just relaxing your arms. So breathe in. Okay, great, well done guys. Very good, so obviously with these push-ups, there's a technique to it as well, so make sure um, that you don't hurt your wrists when you're practicing. And if you can do more, then do more. You know, some of you might be able to do like 20, 30, 50, like this. Just make sure when you're doing it, you're not just going like this. You just make sure you're fully extending all the way down to the side of your body and then extending all the way up and down. And just a quick reminder, when you're doing your punches, make sure you don't lock your elbows straight. Make sure it's slightly bent. So when you practice with the rings, if you straighten it, it'll all fly off. <laughs> okay, good. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for watching again today. Um, next week, we'll be practicing the new basic. So practice this basic as much as you can this week, and then we'll go over the next one next week. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Shaka, class finish. Hop! Hop! Thank you.